Does everything happen for a reason? Because of, I've been asking myself that question because of the shit I've been going through, I've gone through the past two years. Yeah. I remember last year I made a video talking about that shit. Uh, told of a story, like it was a fictional story, of a, of a guy walking with his dog. The dog goes blues. Yeah, and gets lost. Looks for it, but never finds it. So he goes back home. He's a black guy. <laughs> he goes back home, smokes some more, some weed. And he's like, fuck that dog. In fact, it cost me a lot of money. It was costing me a lot of money. Now, instead of buying dog food, I'm gonna buy me some more weed. But then after smoking, get high, realizes, oh, oh, the dog is much more expensive than the weed. So. <laughs> He goes around town like post, putting the posters or something, lost dog, lost dog or something. Now a couple of days, a girl shows up, a beautiful girl shows up at his door, and he opens the door and he's like, wow, wow, this girl is so fucking beautiful, wow. So he stares at her for a minute, after a minute he's like, <gasps> he wakes up, to, uh, wakes up of, out of it, yeah, and then realizes, oh, this girl has my dog. So he works, works, welcomes him, welcome, he welcomes her in. I have a problem. My problem game is not that good. <laughs> so he welcomes her in, gives her a juice or something like that. They start talking, they realize they like each other. And as the girl is like, uh, <laughs> as the girl is trying to like, uh, also they realize they like each other. So the girl tries to kiss him. Yeah. So he turns his. His face. So the girl kisses. So the girl kisses him on the cheek because the guy has not been brushing his teeth. He was like, "Why the fuck should I brush my teeth when I'm gonna die?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So after that, the meeting, the girl, the guy leaves and all that shit. A couple days later, they're talking. They keep on talking on their phones or something like that. Then they plan on a date. Yeah. So a couple weeks later, they plan on a date. Yeah. And as the guy is like going to pick the girl so that go on the date, he gets T-boned, which is got hit by another car. Yeah. And the people are, I remember making some racist jokes at you. <laughs> yeah. Which is like uh oh so the car rolls over and all that shit, but the people the white people walking by they don't really care about him because he's black. Yeah, but then one good guy calls the ambulance or something like that. They can't pick the guy, take him to hospital. In hospital, the doctor is like, a few hours after waking up, the doctor is like, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news, okay, they're actually not, there's no bad news, there's good news. The good news is like uh, the accident that has to discover a tumor in your head, something like that. The bad news is, I remember what I said, but it was kind of funny. It was just a fictional thing. Like, uh, so while while you are in the hospital, the girl comes up and then spend a lot of time with her. A couple months later, you're done. Yeah, you're well. So you got your tumor removed. You're healed from the injuries. Yeah. Then you get married. Yeah. Then you live happily ever after. <laughs> Yeah, so I was trying to like uh, explain how everything happens for a reason because the girl coming over to your place, yeah, and trying to kiss you, but you moved your head, she kissed you on the cheek, and you realize like the importance of brushing your teeth. Speaking of brushing your teeth, I did not brush my teeth today, I'm gonna brush it for this. <laughs> so, how she made you, uh, she made you realize the importance of brushing your teeth, something like that. And then, like, you get into an accident, at the end of it, like, um, made you two spend a lot of time together because you're in the hospital, and then you got married, something like that, yeah. But that's just fictional. In real life, does that really actually happen in real life? Because I've been looking back at, like, my, my life in the past two years or something, or three years, because back in high school, yeah, a teacher went, uh, uh, a teacher in charge of the, like, uh, the computer lab, Gave me a chance to like uh, spend some time in the computer lab work on my programming skills i never used most of the time i just use it like if you watch videos on the internet and all that shit but that time that opportunity given did allow me to improve or like uh, get to understand like oh what does this computer science mean something like that same thing like uh, bill gates was done when he was 
did when he was like still a young guy. It's only that I did not like get programmed that much, but I learned a couple of things from that experience. Uh, I remember when I came back home, I was super obsessed like with speaking really well. So I spent like four months like talking to myself, making video videos like this, just talking to myself. I have another channel which is really embarrassing, just talking to myself. Yeah. If I didn't spend that time, and I'll be here, and I'll be speaking like this. If it was in the time when I was going through last year, I might have like doctor of college. You know, maybe some everything happens for a reason. Maybe you may not be able to see it now. Yeah, as Steve Jobs said, you can only connect the dots looking backwards. Because when I was sitting for four months, like talking to myself, I did not see the importance of that. I did not see like uh, the end goal, the result of that. When I was spending hours in the computer lab instead of like being class reading, I did not see the importance of that. So maybe, maybe, maybe everything has, uh, does happen for a reason. Maybe you may not be able to see the reason immediately. So that's it. Something to think about. Does everything happen for a reason? What do you think?